Presenting officer, we have a Tory government that is hell-bent on crashing the economy. Energy bills rising, mortgage payments going up, and the markets in freefall. In the face of this economic illiteracy and moral bankruptcy, Labour has a plan. A plan for a publicly owned clean energy generation company, and it will be established in the first year of a Labour government. It took the SNP months to back Labour's proposals for a windfall tax. So today, will the First Minister back Labour's plan for a publicly owned energy company to bring down bills, create jobs and deliver energy security? First Minister. Uh, yes, I'm happy to uh, give support to policies of that nature. Uh, perhaps Anna Sarwar would want uh, to back a situation uh, where, of course, Scotland uh, had the full powers we would need over the energy market and access to borrowing uh, that are necessary uh, for us to establish an energy generation uh, company of that nature. Uh, but I'm happy to support things I agree with. But since we're uh, on this ground uh, today, here are some other uh, policies that the SNP Scottish Government have introduced uh, that perhaps Labour uh, would now like to back. How about we see Keir Starmer and UK Labour backing a £25 per week child payment yeah. like we have in Scotland? How about we see Labour back an end to the benefit cap or the abolition of prescription charges or free personal care or the abolition of university tuition fees? or higher health spending per head of population, more nurses and doctors per head of population? How about a rent freeze uh, such as is being introduced here in Scotland? So if we want a swap of good ideas, I'm happy to accept them when they come from Labour. Perhaps Labour needs to look at Scotland and start emulating some of what we're doing here. Anna Sarwar. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm pleased to hear the First Minister backs Labour's plans and how times change from telling Scotland you're never getting a Labour government again to now giving proposals to the next Labour government. That's more that we can see. And the First Minister wants to talk about her powers. In 2017, in 2017, the front bench might want to listen to this. In 2017, the First Minister promised a government-run energy company that would sell Scottish renewable energy to customers as close to cost price as possible, using the powers they have, a promise broken. A Labour government will establish a public energy company in year one, and after 15 years of SNP government, we're told we still have to wait. And this matters. In January, the First Minister sold off Scotland's seabed on the cheap. If we had a publicly owned energy company in Scotland, th that would have been in the sands of the Scottish people, and they would have had a stake. Instead, we have a ludicrous situation where Vattenfall, a publicly owned company in Sweden, will profit more than taxpayers here. First Minister, why is it your priority and policy that our natural resources fund schools, transport and hospitals in Sweden, but not in Scotland? First Minister. Well, if we have a Labour leader in Scotland reduced to talking down the fantastic Scotland programme, uh, then that will just count as one of many reasons why, whatever might or might not happen in the rest of the UK, Scotland will not be getting another Labour government any time soon. Yes, we committed uh, to a publicly owned retail energy company. Uh, Covid unfortunately changed those plans. We will shortly set out our plans for the National Public Energy Agency. But if Anna Sarwar is going to come here um, and ask me these questions, surely he must know uh, that to set up a publicly owned generation company, that would mean powers for this parliament over the energy market and access to borrowing that we don't have. So if Anna Sarwar wants this government to do that, Thank then you. when is Anna Sarwar going to back independence and full powers for this parliament yeah. so that we can? Anna Sarwar. Here we go, here we go. The, the old slogan of talking down Scotland. I've been hearing Nicola Sturgeon shout that slogan since I was at school. Time to change the record, eh, First Minister. For 15 years, we've had an SNP government that has chased the headline but not done the work. They promised a national energy company, now scrap. They promised 130,000 green energy jobs, failed to deliver. Remember, they promised the Saudi Arabia of renewables. Instead, they're selling off our assets on the cheap. This week, the people of Scotland saw change is coming with Labour. 
change with an ambitious plan to freeze energy bills, change to invest in energy security, change to create tens of thousands of high-skilled, well-paid jobs here in Scotland, and change to get rid of Thank this economically you. illiterate and morally bankrupt Tory government. Even the First Minister must surely see that this is the change that Scotland needs. First Minister. Anas Sarwar uh, says that he's been listening to me for years accusing Labour of talking down Scotland. That's probably true, but that's because I've listened for years to Labour constantly talking <laughs> down Scotland. It is all they seem able to do. And that's why Scotland uh, decided to get its own back in Labour uh, and start doing down Labour in electoral terms. And I don't see any evidence of that changing any time soon. Of course, under uh, this government, we have a position uh, where our net energy consumption is already provided by uh, renewable energy sources. Uh, Scotland is leading, leading the world uh, when it comes to renewable energy, and Scotland is a shining example of that. Look, in the interest of trying to find a bit of consensus today, presiding officer, um, I want to see the back of this rotten corrupt, failing Tory government just as much as anybody does. Uh, but if it is going to be replaced at UK level by a Labour uh, government, then surely everybody's got a right to hope that that Labour government will actually be a big difference to what it is replacing. And let me give another suggestion. Perhaps it could start by committing to reverse the Brexit that Scotland did not vote for. Because Labour, just like the Tories, is now a pro-Brexit party, regardless of the economic damage that is doing. The fact is, on Brexit, as on so many other issues, the only way for Scotland to reach its full potential is independence. And aren't we really seeing the benefits of independence right now? The sooner, the better.